Acute lymphoblastic leukemia of childhood represent one of the most dramatic uh, examples of the success uh, of a modern uh, oncology. In particular, uh, uh, now in the different countries, uh, we are uh, able to cure at least 80-85% of patients with the frontline regimens and another 5 to 10% of children can be salvaged by rescue therapies, including stem cell transplantation. This dramatic improvement in the outcome of patients has been uh, uh, mainly the results of uh, international cooperation, conduction of a randomized clinical trial, and the integration of biology knowledge uh, into the therapeutic strategies of these patients. Nowadays, in particular, uh, clearance of leukemia cells measured uh, through the surrogate marker of minimal residual disease uh, and information deriving from the presence of recurrent genetic lesions permit to stratify the patients into different groups of risk, uh, modulating the intensity of therapy according to the need of being more or less aggressive. Despite this dramatic improvement, uh, there, is still, there is still need uh, to find innovative approaches uh, for treating uh, some specific subgroup of patients who still have uh, an unsatisfactory or even dismal outcome. And uh, this is a wonderful period uh, for uh, clinicians because we can count not only on the classical uh, mainstone of uh, uh, chemotherapy rather than uh, uh, stem cell transplantation, but also because we have the possibility of integrating approaches of immunotherapy in the treatment of majority of patients with uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Indeed, 80% uh, of patients have uh, uh, leukemia deriving from B cell precursor and these patients can benefit from treatment with either monoclonal antibodies or with T lymphocytes genetically modified for being redirected against the tumor target. Uh, the most exciting development uh, uh, is certainly represented uh, by immunotherapy from one side uh, because I am convinced that uh, these approaches of uh, immunotherapy will uh, significantly contribute to further improve the outcome of patients and maybe that they will uh, even substitute in certain patients stem cell transplantation and by the possibility of targeting uh, with uh, uh, molecularly directed drugs specific recurrent genetic lesions. In particular, uh, we now know that uh, a subgroup of patients, namely those uh, with uh, the so-called pH-like uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, could benefit uh, from treatment with tyrosine kinase inhibitors or JEK1 or JEK2 inhibitors. The main message that I like to transmit is that we have to continue to collaborate together to exchange data and information to implement well-conducted clinical trials with the great uh, goal uh, that uh, we have to pursue of uh, maintaining or even improving uh, the cure rate that we have obtained uh, while uh, decreasing the long-term toxicity uh, that still some of our patients experience on the long term.